the King of the Ring match with Austin. You ended up splitting his lip open, and that led to the Austin 316. <laughs> so you subconsciously <laughs> caused it. Any memories of working with him? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, Stone Cold and um, DDP and Triple H are probably three guys I wrestled more than anybody. I mean, a couple hundred times, only because we were in WCW together. And then, of course, WWF together, you know. So um, Stone Cold, truly one of the best. I mean, that guy is a ring general. He, he was so good. To, to work with and always and he was you know one of the few guys that like you know I had certain moves that I was really good at you know or, or could do you know and you can't do them with everybody because some guys just can't you know flip and flop like that there wasn't a move I could do that Stone Cold couldn't you know roll with or do it do it with me and make me look good he was amazing man but it was so funny because um uh, before I, I did his podcast he, he even wrote wrote on Twitter he said um uh, I got a, I owe I owe John three sixteen or I owe I, I owe Austin three sixteen to Mark Merrill. If he never split up split up my lip, I never would have had the opportunity to hear what Jake said and, and come back and use that line. So I just remind him of the royalties he actually owes me. Okay. <laughs> no, he's a. I, I re, you know something. He's another guy. I I didn't really have a. I guess a, a, a real friendship with when we were working together, he was, he was pretty much business. And, and you know, he was always with, um, you know, whether it was, you know, when he was with Lady Blossom or Deborah or whatever. I mean, you know, so he traveled with yeah. his, his, uh, Lady his Blossom wanted me to tell you hi, by the way. Oh, she's a sweetheart. She was so nice. She was always so kind. So Steve and I have never really had like a friendship, but, um, we have such an admiration for each other now. I mean, you know, he, he really is. I, I, I not only did I, when I did this podcast, we when we finished the podcast, we talked on the phone for like a probably forty five minutes. You know, just just talking about old times and and uh, you know he's he's really proud of what I'm doing now. So I really, you know, to even that even realizes some of the things that I've been doing lately is it was pretty cool. And um, I, I just really got a I really have a high esteem for Steve. Yeah, it seemed like you had a good chemistry with him on that podcast. A lot of fans brought up before I did this interview, I guess there was some rumor, I don't know where it comes from or if you've heard it, that I guess he was supposed to have a run with you allegedly, but you took a power bomb from Sable and then he ex it. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, yeah, there there is. I mean, from what I from what I hear, I mean, Steve will have his own take on it, but just from what I hear, um, we were supposed to have a run together and uh, when when they saw, me, you know, I, of course, that was mine. I brought it to Vince Russo and said, hey, we want to get her over. You know, let's do this. And, and you know, at the time, like I said, I, I just wanted we she was on such she was on such a trajectory. It was like, just keep it going, you know. So for her to save about me, be like, oh, my gosh, you know. But of course, it took me out of um, working with Stone Cold because, you know, and think about from his point of view, he's the baddest one of the bad, baddest asses on the planet. And it's like. This girl just kicked his ass. I'm going to let him get in the ring. I'm going to bump around for him. So totally understand it. And looking back on it now, it's like, you know what? He's probably right. You know, you, you don't want to you don't want to have a, a, a you know, so-called girl beat you up in the ring and then go and fight the top guy in the company and almost beat him. What does it say to the girl? Is, what would she do to Stone Cold? You know, so I can understand where he was coming from. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.